61A, lecture number two. The first pre-recorded video lecture of the semester. I hope you like this video format. I think in general for learning computer science, videos are better than coming to a live lecture. Because in live lecture, if you miss something, then you might be confused for the rest of the hour. But here you could just rewind. You can make us talk faster or slower. You can pause and work through an example on your own and then restart the video when you're ready. Even in a semester when students are all on campus, videos for this course tend to be much more popular than live lecture. I wish we could have an in-person lecture too, but we can't, so you're stuck with this. But I think it's pretty good. This is the most common way for people to see the lecture material in 61A in any semester. And this semester, since we're not really constrained by the 50-minute time block that's allocated for the course, I think we're going to add in a few extra videos here and there that extend the length of these video lectures whenever we get to a part that tends to trip students up, and hopefully that will help you be less confused than the students in previous offerings of this course. Each lecture consists of multiple videos in a YouTube playlist, so don't just watch the first one or you'll miss all the content. The first one usually just contains logistical information about the course. You will notice, even today, that most of these videos are not made new every semester. Instead, when I make a video and I think I've gotten it right, I just keep including it in every future version of the course until I think of something better to say, and then I replace it. So all the videos were originally created in 2013. You'll see that many of them have been replaced. Some of the 2013 classics still remain. And we're very committed to updating any videos that need updating, meaning that something about them is out of date, or we could think of a better way of presenting the material. But I don't just re-record everything for fun every semester, because that would take time away from actually improving the course. I do think it's a good idea to watch these videos when they come out, either that night or the next day. That will help you keep up with the class, and it will make sure that you watch the important announcements. In the first video of every lecture, I'll just go to cs61a.org and read out the important announcements, giving you a little bit of commentary about what's really important. Uh, tomorrow, we'll have a live Ask Us Anything session on Zoom. Really important. No, not that important, but this one won't be recorded, so if you want to hear what we have to say, you gotta come. Here's something that is important, Lab Zero. If you haven't done it already, Lab Zero is really just getting your computer configured so that you can work on the course assignments. Sometimes this is really quick, sometimes it takes a while, depending on your computer and whether you click all the right buttons in the right order. We've worked hard to make this guide self-contained, so you just read it, do what it says, and you're done. But some students always get stuck, and that's okay. We have some support office hours available today and tomorrow where you can talk one-on-one -on -one with one of the course tutors in order to get help if you have any kind of configuration problem. So try Lab Zero right now, watch the rest of the lecture later, and if you get stuck, come get help. There will be more office hours next week if you need help then, but wouldn't it be nice to get everything set up this week so that when next week comes around you can focus on solving problems? How do you go to office hours? Well, there's a link here at the top that describes the office hours, and you go to join an online queue at this address. This online queue will ask you to sign in with your berkeley.edu account, and you can't see it now because office hours aren't running, but you'll be able to ask for help, write a sentence or two about the problem that you're having, and then somebody will come help you out. In future weeks, it will be possible to make appointments, but we're not having appointments this week, not until next week. Lab 1 is real content in the course, not just setting things up. It will be posted on Monday, maybe even Sunday night, and it's due on Monday at midnight. Everything's due 11.59 p.m. Pacific time in this course, not your local time zone, but my time zone. You could solve the lab on your own, but I don't recommend that. I recommend attending one of the lab orientations. We have those 2 p.m., 6 p.m., and 9 p.m. Monday, 
we also have a set of lab orientations for students who don't think they have much prior programming experience and want to hear an introduction to the lab that's a little bit more tailored to them. Those are at 2 p.m. and 7 p.m. All five of these are taught by different people, so you might shop around to figure out which one you like, but I would expect a lot of students to go to the 2 p.m. one because then you get started, you have the whole afternoon and evening to finish the lab. It won't take you that long. Labs are designed to be completed in about an hour and a half, but it can't hurt to get started early. So pick any lab orientation you want. They'll all be the same, so you don't need to attend more than one. And during your lab orientation, you'll hear about various opportunities to collaborate with other students. We'll have links to the Zoom sessions for those lab orientations up as soon as we get organized and post them and they'll show up in the important link section whenever that happens. So lab zero and lab one will be the first things that you turn in and you should turn them in on Monday. Homework one will be posted this Friday, probably at night, and it will be due the following Thursday. I recommend doing the lab first before you deal with the homework, but if you really want to get started earlier, you could. There's a Q&A session about this lecture tomorrow at 9 a.m. And much more importantly, there's a Ask Us Anything session with the instructors tomorrow at 2 p.m. This one's recorded, so you don't really have to come unless you have questions. This one is not, so if you want to hear our answers, you got to go. Those are the announcements.